I can't very well sit down now, so I'm just going to stand up too. So lots of words have been exchanged about this referendum. There's going to be more words tonight. But for a moment, I'd like you to think about deeds rather than words. Over the past 30 years, Westminster has sold off public services, creating higher bills for ordinary people and bigger profits for shareholders. The Royal Mail was the last to go, and the English NHS is next on the chopping block. The current government is forcing the poor to pay for bankers' mistakes through benefit cuts, work fare, and the bedroom tax. At the same time, they give tax cuts to millionaires. What do these deeds say about Westminster priorities? I'm not a member of any political party, and looking objectively, Scottish priorities seem different. The Scottish government isn't perfect, but over the last 15 years, they've managed to take NHS-related private contracts back into the public sector. They've abolished tuition fees for higher education, and they've abolished prescription charges. They've set aside money to ease the pains of the bedroom tax. I come from a country where access to medical care and higher education is based on your ability to pay or your willingness to get into hideous amounts of debt. I don't want Scotland to go down that route. I want to protect our public services and improve the quality of life for everyone, not just millionaires. That's why I'm campaigning for a yes. Yeah.